I saw this movie, it's called Shot Caller, and you and I talked about it, and I remember you telling me it's pretty much bullshit in Hollywood, and, and I feel you on that, but the premise of it, where this clean-cut dude from Pasadena, who's a stockbroker, has a few glasses of wine at dinner, and ends up killing someone vis-a-vis -a, -vis a manslaughter case, is now thrown in a state pen for seven years, and this guy's a square in a shark tank of savages, it's the biggest fear a lot of people have, right? That out in society, and what what would be the first thing they do? And and your fresh out series goes into that and and helps people understand that dynamic. But the the, the fear within that is that this man ends up in a cell, and his cell he happens to be a chomo and has bad paperwork, and his people get at him and turn him out and say, hey man, you got to put a piece in this guy's neck or we're putting a piece in your neck, you know, walk us through that kind of dynamic and, and how to duck that, that moment in time. Policies play that different for different races. Every race has their own set of rules and how they handle situations. I can't speak on every race. There's people on my channel who have spoken on, um, the white race as far as the politics and I know um, just from even talking to COs that you're a white you're a white guy bring your paperwork your paperwork's no good you're getting booked on the spot you know <clears throat> um, and uh, if you happen to get into the cell with somebody who has bad paperwork and they know it and you know these OGs they don't care that you're only doing two or three years you know they're gonna tell you man handle your business and um, <clears throat> you're gonna have to book the dude. You know, as far as you trying to get out of it, um, you're not gonna be able to get out of it. You know, you, you, you might try to somehow book him where there's traffic where you can kind of hide it and make it look like you didn't do it. But one way or the other, you know, you and whatever other missiles they send in there to do it, you're gonna have to handle your business, man. So my advice, don't go to prison, you know, don't get caught up in the bull. Stay out of jail. That's, That's it, you know, you're a square, and you think you're gonna walk through? Well, you know, unless you're just an, uh, uh, somewhat of a savage and you're like, look, I'm not doing anything and you basically step up to whoever's trying to call and you just like handle your business like a straight gladiator and they like, oh, this dude, he's not about the business. He's just, you know, but for certain, for certain races, you're gonna have to handle your business, man. And uh, it's no different than like if somebody showed up from your neighborhood and you was banging on the street and this guy shows up and he has a bad, some bad paperwork, you gotta clean up your dirty laundry, you know? They require you to clean your dirty laundry. So they're gonna say, hey man, one of your partners, we heard he's, uh, he's a pedophile, man, or he's got a bad case, man. You guys gotta get him off the yard. Or it's the riot's gonna kick off. You gotta get him off the yard.